Hello and welcome, my name's Larry Cannon. We're going to show you how to install multi-PHP versions on Ubuntu 13.10. This assumes that you've already installed using your package manager Apache 2, MySQL Server, PHP MyAdmin, which automatically will install PHP in the latest flavor, and Live Apache 2 Mod FCGID. Okay, so what we're going to, oh, this is a Linux version of Keynotes. So first of all, why would you bother? Okay, here's the answer. That's the version that's currently installed with Ubuntu. However, I've got scripts online that only work in a previous version of PHP, not the latest version. And I want to... Uh, develop things using those scripts on my local machine. So pointing to the same file here, instead of as local host as dev.dev, .dev, it's now PHP version 5.3. Now, I don't care what package manager you've got, whether it's Synaptic or Meown. Whatever you're using, they're all very similar though. For example, if you want to install something, it says mark for installation when you right click an object with the mouse. And you can see I've already got those installed there. That says installed and this will tell you the installed version. They're very similar. Now here's the script that you can download after you've got all that going. We'll just go through it now. What we're going to do is make a folder in which to compile the version of PHP. We're going to create another folder in which to build it. We're going to download it, extract it, and then get all the other stuff that's required to build it. We're going to add some stuff and then configure it. And most importantly, we're going to put enable CGI. We're going to make it, install it, copy the newly made uh, PHP INI to its proper location. We're going to install some other stuff for PHP, which is pair. We're also going to get uh, Iron Cube. This is for Iron Cube encrypted scripts that we own. Then we're going to add some stuff to the bottom of our newly formed PHP INI and put one line to the top of that file, which happens to be our Ion Cube extension. Then we're going to open, I'm using Cape, but you can put in any editor you like there. We're going to open our newly created PHP INI to check everything's okay and make any adjustments. The adjustments I made were to allow short tags for PHP. Then we're going to create a CGI bin in bar www and we're going to create a file in that CGI bin which is that one there and put all these lines in it. We're then going to make that executable, that CGI. We're going to create a virtual host and in my case I call that virtual host dev.dev you can put anything you like there, as long as you change in both places in the script. And that's what's going to point to this when you uh, load that in your browser. Because what we've done here is we've put that into our hosts file. So even if you put a real domain there, you will not be able to visit that domain. You'll visit it locally. Uh, here, we're going to add a script alias to the very top of apache2.conf. Now, 
in other system sets, you'll see it called httpd.com. Finally, and this is the one that held me up for ages, it wasn't working. I, I wrote asking questions online and I, I couldn't find the answer. We're going to change the ownership of bar www from root to www-data because that's what's set as default in the in, in bars file in Apache 2. Now we're going to reload Apache 2 and it'll all work. Okay, hopefully that's been helpful to you. The link to that file in zipped format will be below this video and a little text file telling you what the requirements are beforehand.